Metro is choosing between three options to extend the Sea Line or Green Line to the City of Torrance. The three options include the proposed project, the trench option, and the Hawthorne option. The Torrance City Council supports the Metro right-of-way elevated at grade option. This option would follow the existing Metro right-of-way and would include a combination of elevated and at grade segments between Redondo Beach and the Mary Kay Giordano Regional Transit Center in Torrance. The Metro right-of-way elevated at grade option uses an existing right-of-way and is the most cost-effective option. Also, it would avoid impacts on businesses and residents near Hawthorne Boulevard. It will also not encroach the I-405 freeway and will have an earlier completion date than the other options. The trench option would follow the existing metro right-of-way between the Redondo Beach Station and 190th Street and would include a combination of trench and at-grade segments. The trench option would cause project delays, would require major construction to create the below-grade trenches, and would cost more than the at-grade option. The trench option would not encroach on the I-405 freeway and would avoid impacts on Torrance businesses and residents near Hawthorne Boulevard. The Hawthorne Boulevard option is an elevated train with overhead rail structures along the center of Hawthorne Boulevard extending from the I-405 freeway south to 190th Street, where it would re-enter the railroad right-of-way. The Hawthorne option is inconsistent with voter-approved funding initiatives and could require an additional $1 billion to complete. This option may require encroachment of the I-405 freeway and could create accessibility issues to the Redondo Beach Transit Center. Join the Torrance City Council in support of the Metro right-of-way elevated at-grade option.